Hi Virgo, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you guys doing? This is a November reading for the collective of Virgo, right? Not your personal reading because everybody's journey is different. And of the millions and millions of Virgos in the world, what are the odds I'm going to hit on you, right? This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. If you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, this reading very well. <clears throat> this reading very well may resonate with you. If it uh, if it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, it's not for you. Okay. All right, you guys. So Virgo, if you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. All right, Virgo. Nine of Wands. You enter into this reading with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. You're feeling hesitant, defensive, paranoid to enter into a Ten of Cups, a harmonious values aligned relationship with somebody feeling defensive and hesitant about about entering into a ten of cups relationship with somebody the fool a new beginning right you're 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 hesitant about having a new beginning with someone you you genuinely are very hesitant because there has been some shady behavior there has been some betrayal some deceit some lying some cheating some stealing something right? And you don't trust it. You don't trust this individual, right? Because there's been all talk and no action, undelivered promises in the past. And any kind of reconciliation or reuniting with this person is just simply unrealistic. And the seven of wands comes in and says that this, you're challenged. You are, you are challenged about this. This is a challenge for you. Okay. So to recap this top row right here, you are having serious doubts about engaging in a committed relationship, having a new beginning in a committed relationship with someone because there was shady behavior, undelivered promises in the past, and you're challenged by this, right? You are. You're challenged by it. Eight of Swords says you're thinking. You're thinking hard, thinking about what kind of movement you are going to make in this situation, right? This is a card about movement, action, um, rebirth, um, um, cycles, right? So you are, are in the Eight of Swords energy thinking about what your next move is going to be in regards to this Ten of Cups relationship. So we have the Ten of Cups twice. We have the Seven of Wands twice, right? Challenged absolutely challenged guarded protective and challenged filled with conflict the five of wands conflict in the center of this reading filled with conflict don't know what to do don't know what to do about communication with the eight of wands that has come into you after a breakdown in communication right? There, there was a breakdown in communication and now communication is coming into you and saying, hey, Virgo, let's do a 10 of cups. Let's 10 of cups it, Virgo. And Virgo's like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So communication is coming in after a breakdown in communication in regards to a broken, significant relationship where you were completely and totally unappreciated. At least you felt like you were unappreciated. Again, nine of wands, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, right? To the king of wands in reverse. So this relationship, this relationship, this king of wands in reverse, this guy is a dick, right? This is the person. This is this person. Right? This King of Wands in reverse is the shady character of the Seven of Swords that wants a, a, ten, of cup re, ten, a ten of Cups relationship with you that you're all fish eyed about, right? Hangman, pausing, processing, trying to come out on the other side with a new perspective. And while you're in that Hangman energy, you do with the Ace of Swords. You come out with a breakthrough, some truth, some understanding, and some confirmation of, of where you stand in the mental in regards to this relationship. This relationship with the Queen of Wands, right? This Queen of Wands is, hold up. Yes. 
This Queen of Wands is this King of Wands in reverse, right? Because now they're saying, right, with the Ace of Swords, some truth being spoken, some clarity coming to you, they are saying, I've changed. I've changed. I'm not the King of Wands in reverse anymore. I'm not a dick anymore. Now I am sexy and vibrant and full of life and fiery and extremely attractive to you, right? Hold on. Got all these. They want to manifest a brand new opportunity with you, right? They want to manifest a brand new opportunity with you. They used to be your knight in shining armor, right? But now it's unrealistic. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Things were brought to a culmination. Things were brought to a conclusion and you are now an independent, self-sufficient, single person. And you're not hung up on this anymore. And then lo and behold, here they come. Mr. Deceitful, right? Mr. Mr. and Mrs. I say Mr. because it's the King of Wands in reverse. The deceitful person coming in wanting to, uh, wanting to uh, uh, get the Ten of Cups going on again, right? Strength comes in, says, yeah, it, it wasn't easy for you to be the Knight of Pentacles, right? It wasn't easy for you to bring a culmination to everything and become independent and self-sufficient. The King of Swords, right? Now some truth is being spoken to you by an emperor type of person, right? Some truth is being spoken to you that affects the establishment of your life in general. Puts you in your own card, Virgo, the hermit, the hermit energy, doing some soul searching, some introspection, really, really, really searching out whether this is something that you want to engage in again or not, or maybe not even again. Okay, temperance, right? Sitting on it, trying to weigh everything, trying to make very uh, diligent, prudent decisions in this whole t in this whole situation. Thinking about your future, right? Thinking about what the future would hold in a relationship with this person. Justice. Some truth is spoken. Some absolute truth is spoken by you to you. Okay, this is justice. This is what you figured out in the hermit energy, right? Applying some temperance to it, thinking about your future and coming to a very just decision, right? A very just decision. Your just decision is that this was just simply a painful lesson, a little bit too painful and Virgo is not going to repeat the same cycle again. Three of Wands, preparation, foresight, expansion, getting ready to build your life, right? Getting ready to build your own life. To the World card, closing out this cycle, simply closing it out. This cycle is closing for you, actually, because this is a major arcana. You have no choice about this. Your decision dictates the path that you go on, but one way or another, the cycle of this whole thing, thing right here is coming to an end one way or another. And Virgo says that it's hopeless. It is, it is, it's what, it was a painful lesson. That's the justice. That's what Virgo figured out when they were planning for their future, right? Planning for their future in the hermit energy, right? Because they need to make a decision about this emperor type person that has some kind of bearing on their future. They need to make the decision. They have made the decision. The King of Swords is executing a decision, right? Because it took a long time. It took a long time to be strong enough to be independent and self-sufficient and bring this thing to a conclusion in here and in here, right? Yeah, they used to be. They used to be the Prince of Cups, but they're not anymore. They're not anymore. And that's your decision, Virgo. And that was, that was your reading. That was super short, super quick. It was what, nine, nine minutes long, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Brief synopsis, right? You, uh, you have a choice to go into a, 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 you're being offered a harmonious relationship where there has been deceit and betrayal in the past. This person who was a dick is um, coming back to you, and it could be male or female. Chicks can be can be assholes and dicks too, honestly. Believe me. Anyway, another story. Um, 
they're coming back and they're communicating that they want a new beginning with you. And Virgo goes into the hermit energy and really thinks about things good and long and hard and comes out on the other side with a sense of justice that this was just too painful. This was just too painful the first time around. And quite frankly, I'm not interested in doing it again. That's what Virgo says. There you go, Virgo. That is your reading. Namaste.